they make a very shallow cut, just a scratch on the side of the green seed pod. They do not harvest it immediately. They wait. Patience was the first ingredient. Over the course of the night, the pod would release a milky white sap, a latex that would slowly trickle down the side of the pod and harden in the cool night air, turning from white to a dark, sticky brown. This was raw opium, collected drop by drop, scraped off the next morning and rolled into small cakes. From Sumer, this knowledge traveled. It moved slowly, carried in the saddlebags of camels, crossing the shifting sands of the deserts, traveling along the earliest trade routes, until it reached the banks of the Nile. In ancient Egypt, the Egyptians, famous for their medical knowledge, valued this substance highly. We know this because they wrote it down on the Ebers Papyrus, a 110-page scroll written around 1550b.c. It is one of the oldest medical documents in history. In its faded ink, priests and doctors described using the poppy to quiet crying children and to treat patients suffering from pain. It was a tool of mercy in a world without modern hospitals. The famous Spongia somnifera, or sleeping sponge, was used by healers, soaked in the extract and placed over the nose of patients to induce a deep, dreamless sleep before surgery. For thousands of years, this was the extent of human knowledge, a plant, a resin, and a crude medicine. The chemistry remained a mystery, locked inside the dark resin, waiting for someone to find the key, waiting for the age of science to arrive and unlock the pure, white crystal hidden within. Time flowed on like a slow river. Centuries turned into millennia. The empires of old crumbled into dust, but the poppy remained. It traveled from the banks of the Nile to the medical schools of Greece and the bathhouses of Rome. Physicians like Galen and Hippocrates wrote of its powers. They brewed it into teas and mixed it into wines. During the Renaissance, a Swiss alchemist named Paracelsus created a tincture he called laudanum, a mixture of opium and alcohol that became a staple in every medicine chest in Europe. But for all those thousands of years,